Welcome. The purpose of this video is to explain the heart transplant evaluation process. Your heart transplant evaluation is a four-step process. First, you will meet with your transplant cardiologist for a transplant consultation. Second, you will meet your nurse coordinator and the rest of your transplant team. Next, you will complete your medical testing. Finally, the transplant committee will meet to review the evaluation findings. Your nurse coordinator will be your contact person throughout the evaluation. At your transplant consultation, you will meet your transplant cardiologist, a doctor who specializes in advanced heart disease. Your care partner should also be present with you. Here, you will discuss your medical history, learn about the transplant process, and receive a recommendation for next steps in the process. Next, you will have consultations with the full transplant team, which may include a transplant surgeon, a transplant coordinator, a social worker, a dietitian, a financial advocate, and a psychiatrist. The next part of the evaluation is medical testing to evaluate your overall health. Medical testing may include imaging, x-rays, CT scans, ultrasounds, cardiac testing, echo, cardiopulmonary exercise stress test, right heart catheterization, left heart catheterization, lung function studies, blood tests for kidney, liver, infections and blood type, tests for physical endurance, and other tests for overall health. You should also provide documentation that you are up to date on other health maintenance, including routine vaccines and cancer screenings. You will work with your coordinator to schedule testing. If you have recently completed these tests, please inform your coordinator. Delays in workup could result in delays on getting on the transplant waitlist. Once your evaluation is completed, the transplant team will review your case at our committee meeting to determine transplant recommendations. Based on your risks versus benefits of transplant, you will either be approved for transplant listing, declined for transplant listing, or on hold for additional information. Your coordinator or doctor will discuss the recommendation with you after the review. If you are approved, you will be added to the waitlist and your transplant team will inform you of the next steps. If you are declined, you can be re-referred if your health issues improve or referred to another center for a second opinion. There are many reasons to be on hold, such as additional testing, treatments or physical therapy, or substance use program participation. Please provide documentation to your coordinator about progress or completion of these steps. If you have any questions, reach out to the transplant office. Your transplant team is here to support you.